Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and if you're a human, you may well find that hunting and fishing is something that you enjoy. Maybe it isn't. And that was no doubt the thought process that went behind these two games that I've got here, namely Cabela's The Hunt and, can't remember the name of this, Bass Pro Shops. The Strike Championship Edition. <laughs> now, if you didn't look at the thumbnail or read the title, you might be thinking, Alex, why are you looking at these two games? Well, I'll tell you. These were very kindly sent over by the publishers of the game Planet Entertainment for me to have a look at because I looked at them and I thought there's something worth looking at there and I'll show you what it is. It's these! This is a gun. Yes, if you remember the Wii, then you'll probably remember that there were loads of this type of thing. You know, weird peripherals that would just, you know, you slip your Wii remote and or your nunchuck in, and you just play the game and it, you know, introduced an interesting way to play. And they've gone and done it with the Switch as well with these two lumen things. So let's have a look at this one first. This is obviously a gun for the hunt, and it can do this. Functionally, it does nothing in the game, but it's... It's entertaining. It doesn't really change how you control the game to any real degree at all, but it does allow you to sort of, you know, have the experience of having a gun like this. And the build quality, you know what? It's actually pretty damn good. Um, especially the, um, I'd say this bit back here, it sounds a little bit hollow and it is because it's hollow plastic, but overall, you know what? I expected it to be a lot cheaper than it actually is. So um, decent marks for that. Although I have uh, admittedly found this part and most of this part, but without the stock, on AliExpress for a lot less than they charge for this. This, on the other hand, is obviously a fishing reel, and that spins around quite, quite, quite pleasingly. This one doesn't look the part as much as you can probably tell. It's just, uh, it looks a little bit clunky with this great big chunky bit here, where really you just have a little bit of a handle as a reel, uh, or it certainly wouldn't be this chunky monkey thing here. But you know what? Functionally, you know, sort of, it works like a fishing reel, done it. So, you know, that's the important thing, and keeping the Joy-Con in the right place. Could they have done something like the, uh, the the Labo fishing reel? Probably, but they did this instead. Now, the way that both of these things hold the Joy-Con is actually, well, it's, it's pretty basic, but you know what? It actually ends up working quite well, and a lot of accessories like this, you'd sort of a uh, little bit afraid of damaging the Joy-Con, but these slip in really nicely and just sit in there. They feel... Like, you can pull them out really easily if you want to, but they're also firm in there. It's a really good balance. They've got it down, like, to the nanometer for what you want. So that's really impressive. And obviously that's where the trigger is. Same within the top. It just slides in and it holds it in really nicely. No complaints about that. That's always a concern when using any kind of peripherals or anything like that, that I'm worried it's going to scratch the Joy-Con or anything like that. And these don't. Super duper. And it's exactly the same with the fishing rod. That's the best thing ever. So, they're decent quality, they hold the Joy-Con well, that's all well and good. But what about functionally? How well do they work in the game? Let's talk about that. I think the easiest thing to do, rather than me trying to explain it, is to just show you. So, um, I'm gonna set things up, and I'll be back in a smidge showing you how these little suckers work. Or lack thereof. I'm going to do my best to make this look as proper as possible. Obviously, you've got the great big orange thing on the front here. Saber Interactive, when have I seen you recently? When have I seen you recently? They did Mud Runners. Mud Runner. So as you can see, I've already got a... Um... Okay, am I already on there? Yeah, I've already got a character on here um, called Alex, unsurprisingly. And if you're wondering why this game looks relatively basic, it is basically a port of an old 360 game. And, and, and it kind of shows. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's just go into free hunt. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to use the stick for that, okay. Um, yeah, it, it, it kind of shows. And uh, it's not it's it's not terribly, terribly pleasant and it doesn't run very well either. But, you know, I'm gonna show it to you, give it a fair shot. Where am I gonna go? Let Washington, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> now, of course, you can play this game without, you know, this big peripheral thing here. And um, if you look at the screen, you've probably already noticed the first issue. Let me show you, that's, it, it's almost one-to-one, -one, nearly, but not quite, um, which can be an issue. And is it move? Yeah, okay. So I've got to move forward with the, uh, the <laughs> well, let me show you, actually. It's probably easier if I just cut to this. Okay, so uh, this is the movement, uh, and uh, this is aiming. It's as simple as that. Um, you don't want to just rely on... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just remembering so much about this. It was a long time ago that I played this last. It's been a while for me to get around to it. Apologies to the publisher. So I'm just going around. This is... Uh, oh, no, you can sprint by holding the stick in. 
Um, how do I how do I get on the? You can get on the thing. No, that's the. Uh, is it X? No, that's crouch. No. Um, I, I just want to get on the thing. I want to get on the thing. There we go. It's using R and uh, accelerate. And as you can see, I'm an old man. Jesus, I forgot about this. Uh, I'm an old man character, which is very important. And uh, so you just drive around and you hunt things. Um, the, the motion controls don't work when you're driving. That's a good thing because that would be weird. Um, but if you're so, let me uh, let me get off quickly. Um, get get off. There we go. So uh, if I'm if I'm aiming, I have to go like this. And look at how far I'm moving. Just to move that much, it's too much. And if you sort of think, oh, Alex, why don't you just turn the sensitivity up? Well, I'll show you. The sensitivity is on maximum. By default, I think it's around about in the middle. So let, let me show you what that looks like. It's way too much. I have to move so much and it's inaccurate as well. Let me go back and change it to oh, that's brightness. I don't need to change that. OK, so yeah, saving content. Come on. There we go. Um, probably not going to be able to find it here. <gasps> I can track it here. You see, I have played this before. Press R to track. Oh, is it just like down there? No, I'm going to. Oh, that's that's a click thing. Um, I'll also show you. Oh, I got a hot. So I, I I can click to get into into aim down sights like that, but to sprint I've got to hold it down. <laughs> there are quite a few design decisions in this game that are a little bit odd. Um, track it. It's over there. Can I see it? Okay. So now I want to do some precision aiming, and it's about the same. So I'm going to stay still. And actually, you know, it's doing okay at the moment, but sometimes it does drift and that's not so good. In fact, I'm able to move it without moving it at all. It needs to be more sensitive than that, ironically. Yeah, sensitivity is a big problem with this. I don't know if there's a deer over there. Let's just bang. Oh, bang. I have no idea if I'm hitting it. I haven't got the audio one, so that doesn't help either. Oh, I tell you what, my arm is aching. I suppose, I mean, you could, you know, sort of play with it sort of more down here. But that's sort of, the whole point is it's supposed to be immersion. And I have to go like that to move less than 90 degrees. I have to move 90 degrees. It's, 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 it's silly, really. It's silly. And the game <laughs> looks awful. It's a fun idea, but I think they just needed to just up the sensitivity and make it more accurate. I don't imagine that's going to be too challenging. Um, this game really isn't my cup of tea, but I know there, there are going to be plenty of people that will really enjoy this sort of style of simulation game. Uh, and that's that's great. You know, if you can enjoy it, then all the better. But my arm's also starting to ache as well. Um, like I say, you could play with it more down there, but it's, it's supposed to be about the immersion. And it's just, it's not, oh, I can track it. Where's it gone? Is that it over there? Let's just uh, pop a cap in it. If that's it, I can barely see. You see, I'm trying to go up and it's it's going down when I stay still. So I have to use the stick to manually adjust it. And really, I want to be able to splatoon it aim, basically. Once again, that does nothing. But, but it is entertaining. Okay, now let's try the fishing rod. This is going to be harder to show you how it all works. But uh, I'll do my absolute best. And uh, once again, obviously, you don't have to play this with motion controls. These peripherals are not required to play the game, as you won't be surprised to hear. Planet Entertainment once again. And um, so let's just do it. Oh, no, by the way, this doesn't extend out. And yeah, it does make me kind of sad. Oh, here we go. We're finally going to get in. We're finally getting into it. Come on. OK, uh, load game because I've already done a thing. Didn't I make a female character for this for fun? I did, and I called it I, I called it Sasha because that's the name of my fiance. Uh, j just quick fish. I'm not going to dive into doing anything. Uh, I, they're all locked except that one. So yeah, let's go with it. Why not? I'm only showing off how the controller works anyway. Why did two bubbles appear at the screen then and then just disappear? There are no other bubbles. What's going on? There's one. Do do do. Oh, here we go. Right, we're loading in and zooming round. Whoosh! I'm already doing this, even though I really don't need to. Is it that way? It is that way to reel on, isn't it? Or is it? Wait, we'll find out in a minute. So I just hang on. I it, are the motion controls turned on because I did fiddle around with them. Uh, motion controls? Nope, they're off. So can, can I turn them on? Hang on, what? So I can move up and down. I can move up and down the menus with the stick, but I can't change anything. I have to use the D-pad for that. But. Yeah. Okay, so 
here we go. Okay, for some reason, when you do that, the accelerate for the boat and the brake in reverse swap round, and I've no idea why. Um, I seem to remember I found some fish here, so let's try and do the fishy thing here. Let's. I can't remember how to do. That's a little mini map. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so you uh, you aim with the left stick, as you might expect, and I believe. No. Okay. So. Uh, okay, fair play. This part isn't the game. It's me. Oh. Ah. Okay, so you've got to hold down. Does it matter? No, it has to be. It has to be ZL, and you swing it back, swing it forward, and let go, and you cast. And that was apparently a rubbish cast. And right now, this is the problem that I have. So okay, as you can see, I ain't moving that at all, and yet it's still jiggling around like I'm reading it. Which? It, oh my god. I didn't actually expect to find a fish, and it's difficult to tell right now, but as far as I can tell, I'm not really reading it in. Is it still on the line? Yes, it is. Um, is it getting further away? It's getting further away. If I try and do it faster, it gets even further. You've got to find the right speed, the perfect speed, and there we go. I think, no, let's try a bit faster. I seem to remember it was slower than this. I'm not doing it the wrong way, am I? There we go. Okay, I was doing it the wrong way. <laughs> but I swear you don't do it that way. And you can't move the rod left and right either. It's got motion control, but it's just not responsive. It's just like the other one. Let's try slower. <sighs> to give you an idea of what, you know, what it would actually be like. Um, well, I'll, I'll show you the controls. So it tells you to, you know, just turn it to reel. Uh, reeling, uh, reel with the right controller in a circular motion to reel in your catch, which I was just doing. Uh, boost, acceler uh, boat accelerate casting mode, boat reverse, yeah. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's turn the motion controls off and I'll show you, that's what it usually is. So uh, what's reeling in? I can't remember. ZR, ZR's reeling in, okay. Uh, drag adjustment, oh, I can't do that. Hang on, is there any drag adjustment on this? Uh, left, right, oh, you use left and right. So you don't move, you don't move it like a, you don't move it like a fishing rod. You use these, oh lordy. Okay, so now we're gonna do non-motion controls just so I can show you what reeling in is like without it. Line broke. Brilliant. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Plan B. Okay, so as you can see, obviously motion controls are off now, nothing's happening. And this is what it should look like when it reels in. So, I don't know how quick that is, but it's pretty damn quick. Hey, there's a fish there. Might be able to show this off proper. Okay, there we go. So now I'm reading it in. Whoa. Ease off the line, because I know my fishing game. You failed to set the... I was literally about to say, I know my fishing games. And then the fish runs away as much as a fish can. So as you can see, reading in, it's like, you know, sort of maybe three feet a second, give or take. I'm not actually counting it, so um, I couldn't say for sure. Hey, another fish! Ow, ow, hook is set! Now I'm actually reading. Now we're cooking, and the line broke. Brilliant, we were cooking, and now we've frozen the dinner instead. So it was about three feet a second, give or take. Now let's turn motion controls on, and uh, show you what it's like with the motion controls. So, um, Whee! Was that a perfect cast? Probably not. Um, so I can do, I can adjust. So I'm not, I'm not moving it. And it's sort of, okay, now it's not reading in, but it's, it sort of is. So now let's reel in. And it's just not doing anything. I have no idea what that was. Once more. Bah! Okay, so reeling in. What the hell's going on now? I... What was that? So real. I can get maybe one foot a second. Let's try the other way. There's a bloody fish. I can't reel it in with this. Hook is set. Now you're talking. Let's reel it in. It's just, it doesn't work at all. It really doesn't work. Let's see if I can reel it in by doing this. Nope, not even remotely. Oh, actually, uh, 
No, it's not working. Now, the, the the gun thing, the hunt and all that, you know, sort of hunting deer, that didn't really interest me, but I really quite like fishing games, mainly the mini games and stuff like that. I'm not sure I've ever owned much of an actual fishing game, um, but I really like the idea of fishing games. I think they're fun. Can I cancel this? There we go. Um, and so I was genuinely really looking forward to this, and I thought to myself, oh, well, I probably won't, you know, touch the, the hunt, but the fishing game I might actually, actually play quite a lot. But I, I can't, it's just, it just doesn't work. And even playing without the motion controls, the game isn't brilliant, to be honest. It seems fairly, well, it's very realistic, I've got to give it that, but it's a very basic game and it just seems to be ported over with very little thought. And I'm so disappointed because I thought this was genuinely going to be a good laugh and it's, it's just not. And I'm really, really disappointed in it. Um, the reading mechanic doesn't really work, but the line casting kind of works, but it's a very basic motion, so I'd be... There we go, I got a perfect cast that time. But look, I am doing my best to reel in, and I'm getting maybe one foot a second. That's a bit better there. It's just not. It, it just doesn't work. And I'm not sure what's going on with... So that does do something. No doubt there'll be people who'll enjoy the games for what they are and they like the realistic sims, and that's great, you know, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that will enjoy them, but the peripherals, don't bother. Get it on the eShop if you can. I'm not sure whether you can. As far as I know, you can only get these in a bundle. Um, but these, hello plane, these peripherals just aren't worth it. They're just flat out not worth it. Real shame. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you, if asked whether you've got a license for that subscribe button, say, I don't for this and... God, that was a shoehorned reference. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,